trick to onions. Cut them in half lengthwise, but leave the roots on. Then make your vertical slices. Need a dozen. I think you can handle this. A dozen is 12, right? Next, we add mustard greens. Spicy, and they pack a nice punch. Plus, they're really good for you. Improve mental function, protect against rheumatoid arthritis, even inhibit certain types of cancer. Are you going to chop those onions or give them a Thai massage? Well, I guess a uh, happy ending is out of the question. I don't recall adding making snide remarks to your list of duties. Just taking initiative. Secret ingredient, porcini mushrooms. You want to reconstitute them in a bowl of water. You also want to hire an assistant who can stay focused for longer than 30 seconds. Why don't I hear you chopping? Just give me a second. <coughs> You're kidding me, right? I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Do you want to sit down? Oh, my lips are blue. Cyanosis. Oh, pain in my back and chest. Spontaneous pneumothorax. What are you talking about? I'm a doctor. You are? And I need a doctor. <gasps> I know gas is expensive, but I could have given you a ride. Elevator's broken. It was fine when I came up from admitting. Dana Miller, the cancer researcher, spontaneous pneumothorax. Oh, for a thin file. She just got admitted. Lots of things can cause pneumothorax. Why don't we let eight or ten other doctors rule out the boring stuff? We want to take this case. She's maybe five or ten years away from curing retinoblastoma. Which would make this case attractive to anyone who has some vested interest in people curing the incurable. She hasn't suffered from COPD. She doesn't smoke. She hasn't been scuba diving. O2 sats are low even after chest tube insertion. Pneumothorax could be secondary to a bunch of things. Cystic fibrosis, lung cancer. Or to be slightly more optimistic, late onset asthma triggered by an unknown allergen. We have a case. Did you just get to work? Am I in trouble? Did you take the elevators up? Yes. So, steroids for asthma? Yeah. It was CT looking for hyperinflation to confirm. Lung volume is normal. She did have a uterine myoma removed eight months ago. Central line IV could have made a hole near the lung that slowly expanded. No pleural thickening. Can't believe she quit. People have a right to be happy. I saw a four-year-old with retinoblastoma on my oncology rotation. The cancer had eaten through her eye and into her brain. Horrible diseases exist. Doesn't mean people should give up recreational anything. Why not? Big picture. I don't care if Jonas Salk's life is a miserable shell. I just want him to cure polio. You can't live your life big picture. You've got to look out for yourself and the people you care about. Oh, then why are you a doctor? Why aren't you sitting by a pool in Fiji knocking back Mai Tais? People act in their own self-interests. You're all here because you're happy to be here. Or at least because it's your best option. I'm here because I want to help people. No, you're here because it makes you feel good to help people. Talb and Foreman are here because they got no other viable choices, and 13 is desperate to make her life matter before it's over. So you're happy to be here? Does it show? Are those increased interstitial markings? Could be pulmonary fibrosis. Do a biopsy. Foreman. You've got to look out for the people you care about. That wouldn't have anything to do with you screwing over your clinical trial by slipping 13 the real drug, would it? You said that would be stupid. Does she know? Because Jonas Salk would not approve. It's nothing to know. We need a biopsy to confirm. We need an open lung biopsy to confirm pulmonary fibrosis. That's invasive surgery. I'd be out of commission for weeks. No offense, but you're not working. What does it matter if you spend a little time in bed? Not working doesn't mean I don't have places to go. I've got my book group, piano lessons, cooking classes. They make me happy. A warm apple fritter makes me happy. Doesn't fulfill me as a person. And working here does? If it didn't, I'd have found a way to go back to tucking tummies. Well, good for you. If your job fulfills you and makes you happy, that's rare. I didn't say I was happy. I loved being a plastic surgeon. The money, the lifestyle, 
And in a lot of ways, this job stinks. I'm making five bucks, I'm always annoyed. But... You can look yourself in the mirror and think, I did something worthwhile today. Exactly. Well, that's important. And I do miss that, but... it just wasn't enough anymore. That doesn't feel right. Sit up. Ow! Oh, that's weird. What is it, Ascites? Ow! Your belly's full of blood. First, her lung deflates like me after a cold shower. Now her liver starts to bleed like me after a... You okay? Great. Just practicing my clown college audition. Someone set a tripwire. We were with the patient the whole time. We were in the GRC. Lung, liver, go. Shouldn't you be obsessing over who did this to you? Nope. Anybody bother MRIing our patient's liver for tumors? Uh, no tumors, no cysts, no clear etiology. If you're not obsessing, you must have already figured it out. Yes. So I'm obsessing about why you're not obsessing about why our patient's liver suddenly sprang a leak. It's a tiny spot on the caudate lobe. Could be a granuloma. Rose into the hepatic artery, causes the bleed. What caused the granuloma? Blastomycosis. Could have been asymptomatic for months. It hits her lungs, we give her steroids, it blossoms and attacks her liver. Get a piece of her lung sticking under a black light. If it glows, sick children who need her souffles can breathe easier. Foreman. Again? You have a problem. I told you, I didn't. Then you really have a problem. Well, she turned her head to look at the MRI. And she's losing her peripheral vision. Because she turned her head. I'm happy for you. A love so deep, you're ready to chuck your medical license to give her powerful, unproven drugs with dangerous side effects. I don't want to make any assumptions about your feelings for me, but I do have a birthday coming up. <laughs> 